The 2013 Ford Escape is the best SUV for you if you want a compact crossover that emphasizes style, features, and handling. Out with the old and thankfully in with the new. The 2013 Escape replaces a decade old model. It's sleeker, is available with turbocharged power, and offers innovations like a lift gate that'll open with a wiggle of your foot. But not everything new about it is great. This is Chuck Giametta with an Iguida video review of the 2013 Ford Escape. Join us for a look at its performance, features, pricing, and competition. The 2013 Escape is a radical departure from the boxy model it replaces. It's essentially an Americanized version of Ford's highly regarded Kuga crossover sold in Europe. The styling is fashion forward inside and out, and the engine lineup is all four-cylinder. Ford aims the 2013 Escape at buyers who embrace the latest technology and want something bolder than the family-oriented Honda CRV and Toyota RAV4. The old Escape celebrated the boxy SUV look. The new one is basically a 21st century compact hatchback with a raised suspension. The large lower grille and swept back headlamps reflect the latest styling trends, and the raked windshield and relatively low roofline help make it 10% more aerodynamic than its squared off predecessor. Curvy themes continue inside, where Escape's overstyled dashboard is an acquired taste. Cabin materials are solid, and front seaters get plenty of room. The rear seat, however, is short on knee space and too low to the floor for optimal comfort. Cargo volume is class competitive at 34 cubic feet behind the back seat and 68 with the seatbacks folded. It's based on the great handling Ford Focus chassis, so the 2013 Escape rewards drivers with car-like road holding. Unfortunately, the entry-level S model has an uninspired 168 horsepower and comes only with front-wheel drive. It rates an okay 25 miles per gallon city highway combined. The SE and SEL models are more responsive thanks to turbocharging that gives them 178 horsepower. They offer front or all-wheel drive and they actually beat the base model by a mile per gallon in combined city highway driving. Escape comes alive with a 240 horsepower turbo four-cylinder. It's an $1,100 option on the SE and SEL versions and is standard on the top-of-the-line Escape titanium model. Escapes with this engine still rate a pleasant 25 mpg combined with front drive and 24 with all-wheel drive. Push-button ignition, a panorama sunroof, terrific sport front bucket seats, and systems to warn vehicles in your blind spots are among Escape's long list of standard or optional features. Control of communications, information, and entertainment functions is centralized in Ford's SYNC hands-free system. It's standard on all escapes except the base S model. Optional is Sync's big brother, the MyFord Touch system of voice-activated commands. It's the only way to get a navigation system, and the whole package costs between $800 and $2,700, depending on the model. And MyFord Touch can be very temperamental, so try it before you buy it. As for unexpectedly useful features, the Escape can back itself into a parallel parking space with the optional Park Assist feature, and a wiggle of your foot activates sensors beneath the rear bumper to automatically open the available hands-free power lift gate. The 2013 Escape's base price range of $23,300 to $32,950 is in line with that of key competitors. Most Escape buyers will go for an SE or SEL model, and they'll pay $30,000 or less. But it's not hard to option an SEL or Titanium to $34,000 or so. That money will get you into many larger mid-size SUVs.